An important paper recently published in the field of biochemical research was from the lab of Professor Alessio Chiuli at the University of Dundee. The lab studies a range of areas within the field of the chemical and structural biology of protein-protein interactions. The Chiuli lab has been interested in the bromo and extra terminal, or BET, family of proteins and their role in regulation of gene expression and cell cycle progression particularly with regards to cancer. We've been doing uh, quite a lot of work on a free ligase called von Hippel-Lindau. Uh, and that work resulted in the development of very high affinity ligand. We uh, hypothesized that they could uh, be used rather than inhibitor in their own right. They could be used as kind of handles. Handles to recruit the ligase uh, to a different protein. The bromo and extra terminal family of proteins are found in the nucleus of all cells. Some members of this family include BRD2, BRD3 and BRD4, which have been broadly studied in research. The BET proteins are known to have roles in regulating gene expression and cell cycle progression by recruitment of transcriptional protein complexes to genes. Different proteins within this family possess different roles within cells. Depletion of BRD2 downregulates the FAST gene, which encodes a member of the tumour necrosis factor receptor family. This receptor has a central role in the regulation of apoptosis. BRD4 has been found to affect the expression of many cancer-related genes, such as MYC. As a result of inhibiting BRD4 in cells, MYC expression was decreased, increasing the transcription of P21 a tumour suppressor protein, and so overall resulting in less tumours. Deregulation of BET proteins is a characteristic of several diseases, including cancers such as myeloid leukaemia and ovarian carcinoma, as well as pulmonary disease such as COPD. Previous research identified inhibitors of BET proteins such as JQ1. However, these were not specific to individual BET proteins and undesirable side effects manifested due to the degradation of BRD2 and BRD3. To try and improve the technique, the Kiuli lab took a new approach and attempted to try and remove these BET proteins from the cell altogether. The PROTAC technique makes use of pre-existing cellular methods to break down proteins targeted to the proteasome by polyubiquitination. This degradation is rapid, profound and sustained within cells. A protac molecule is made up of a linker with two ligands that bind to an E3 ubiquitin ligase and the protein being targeted for degradation. In this study, a range of unique protac molecules were developed, which consists of a VHL ligand to recruit the ligase and the JQ1 BET inhibitor as the ligand to recruit the BET proteins. In the case of one of these new protac molecules, MZ1, the JQ1 domain of the protac molecule recruits the BRD4 protein and the VHL ligand recruits the E3 ubiquitin ligase enzyme to the complex. Due to their close proximity, the E3 ligase can now transfer multiple ubiquitin subunits to the BRD4 protein. Polyubiquitination is a natural cellular means of inducing degradation and recycling of proteins. Protac induced degradation utilizes this cellular machinery to target specific proteins to the proteasome to be degraded. An unexpected but extremely exciting finding was the discovery that MZ1 caused selective degradation of BRD4 over BRD2 and BRD3, a significant advancement in the field, as for the first time, all of the positive effects of removing BRD4 could be achieved without any of the negative side effects of removing the other BET proteins. Active research continues with this exciting new molecule. To help advance the field, the researchers in the Kiuli lab have made the molecule freely available to other teams around the world for use in their own research. While in pharmaceuticals, these classes of molecules 
are beginning to enter clinical trials with results from real patients expected soon.